Hello everyone. With a performance we delivered in the third quarter, Sanofi has returned to growth. We have delivered on our promise to shareholders while bringing important new medicines and treatments to patients around the world. Adjusting for currency fluctuations, our sales in the quarter were up 6.3%. We saw double-digit growth in our specialty care business, Sanofi Genzyme, and we also benefited in the quarter from the anticipated return to growth in our vaccine business, Sanofi Pasteur, and from solid growth in consumer healthcare. Of course, the losses of exclusivity continue to be visible in the performance of diabetes and cardiovascular and general medicine and emerging markets. But in each case, the year-on-year -year impact was less than in the second quarter. The strong top-line growth contributed to an increase in our business earnings per share of 11.2% at constant exchange rates this quarter. Earnings per share also benefited from our effective tax rate as well as from share buybacks. We are raising the bottom end of our full year guidance for business earnings per share and now expect to grow between 4% and 5% at constant exchange rates. And this expresses our confidence in the quality of our results and strength of our business. The impact of foreign exchange rates on reported business earnings per share is expected to be around minus 6%, as I mentioned earlier. To provide greater focus on our operations, we have reorganized two of our global business units to create a primary care unit for our mature markets. And we have created a second unit that will focus exclusively on China and emerging markets. Turning to our innovative R&D pipeline, we had a number of important developments since our last quarterly update. A few weeks ago, we announced that our lead immunology drug, Depixent, was approved in the United States to treat people with moderate to severe asthma. Dupixent is already approved for adults with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, and the FDA is reviewing its potential use in adolescents. Also in the US, we announced the approval of Liptayo, bringing a potential treatment option to people with a second most common form of skin cancer. In Europe, authorities have approved Caplevi for the treatment of a rare and life-threatening blood clotting disorder. And in the US, the FDA has granted us a priority review for this important new medicine. The FDA is also reviewing landmark new cardiovascular outcomes data on Praluant, which demonstrates significant benefits to people who struggle to control their high cholesterol. To sum up the third quarter, we had a strong performance and a return to growth, and we met several key milestones that will lay the groundwork for our future success. Thank you for watching.